Hey everyone and welcome to another edition of Start Select. Coming up on this week's show, we'll be talking to Rare about bringing Viva Piñata to the Nintendo DS and we'll be meeting with EA to see how they're bringing Skate to the Nintendo Wii. First up though, we're testing out Buzz Quiz TV on the PlayStation 3 to see if it can recreate a game show in your own home. Hello and welcome to the first and probably last edition of the GameSpot UK Quiz. With Buzz Quiz TV finally making its appearance on the PS3 last week, we've compiled a quiz to find out which member of the GameSpot UK team knows the most about the site they work on. Alright, well let's, uh, let's get cracking, let's start the game. Alright, so the first question is, what game did GameSpot UK review as being entirely devoid of artistic merit? Is it A, King of Clubs, The Club, Emergency Heroes, it was Emergency Heroes in that case. So you got it right, Laura, and so did you, Luke. How did you get that wrong? Alex. <laughs> well, I thought that I'd said that about King of Clubs. Because it very clearly was entirely the word of artistic merit, but obviously... All right, next question. No. Uh, what did Capcom send us to celebrate the release of Devil May Cry 4? Are you all got that right? That's uh, tequila and vodka. Nice. Who knows? We, we covered that off on a what previous Star Select episode. Who knows why they sent that in to promote that game? Well, Lost Coast to Lake. I wouldn't complain about free booze if I were you. No, that's a good point. We don't want to detract anyone from sending us free booze. Alright, next question. Including debug consoles, how many consoles currently clutter the GameSpot UK games room? Different answers given. Actually, 11. And the only oh, person man. to get that right is, uh, is Luke, which puts you out in the lead with 900 points there, Luke. Did you know that? Had you, had you counted them before? It was just a flip that one. Just a flip yeah. that yes, okay. I mean, yes, I did know. <laughs> Alright, next question. Which member of the team has the most trophies on their oh. user profile? No, it's me. Why did I press go? So you've got, uh, you've got to think... But they're not trophies, they're emblems. They're yes. emblems, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But every emblem's a trophy. No, no. You've got, you've got, I would like to challenge that decision. You've got one more than me. Uh, how many copies of My Horse and Me currently reside in the games library? Uh, oh. Only one person got right, Laura, with three. <laughs> Have you got I've all counted. three in your desk? <laughs> <laughs> so who, 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 what did you say, you guys? I said two. I said four. You said four. It's a tough one. We probably had four at one point, but it's mysterious. It's because I took one home. How many episodes of the Games What You Care podcast have there been? I don't think anyone oh. got that right. That's 45. Ah, oh, lame. It's crazy. I thought we had a 50th episode. Thing. We, we had a, a, a two, uh, was it a two year one, Laura? Yeah, I two think year, so. Two year anniversary, I think. Uh, that would be and according to a fitness expert, what metabolic age is Sky Cocker? That's me. <laughs> 42. Drew, you should know that one. You were there filming me. Yes. Very good. Right. What, did, what did your quiz man say? Did you, how, uh, how did I said you 55. Oh, I think the oldest possible. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so it wouldn't be a quiz show if we, were, if we didn't have some prizes to give away. Uh, let's just head back here. So, um, Alex, you were in. You were in last place, so you ah. get uh, three <laughs> copies of My Horse and Me on the Wii. Uh, Drew, you in third? Yes. You get uh, a broken PSP that we hacked apart to try and get video out. Woo! Um, no. And... Don't so, hack your PSPs, kids. No. That's the Ooh, result. So, so join first with Laura and Luke. Uh, you get the Xbox 360 oh, HD DVD yeah, drive, what I need. Uh, which is obviously uh, very current, uh, and you get the alcohol. <laughs> oh, great! Earlier, the, uh, the vodka and the tequila. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be more use. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's um, that's the new Buzz. It's Buzz Quiz TV on the PlayStation 3. Uh, it was released last week, and you can go online and create your own questions just like we did. All right, so I'm joined now by uh, Paul and Gary, who are the uh, producer and lead designer for Viva Piñata Pocket Paradise on the DS, uh, which guys is out later in the year, I believe. Yeah. Um, so tell us a little bit about the game. Viva Piñata, obviously, on the Xbox originally. Why did you want to bring it to the DS? Um, the game is, uh, we believe it will appeal to a very wide audience. Um, we think you did a fabulous job. It looks gorgeous on the Xbox. Mm -hmm. uh, we have another one coming out later this year, which will look even better. Um, but we felt that there was a, 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 another type of audience out there that we thought it would appeal to very well. And because it is a very large game, being able to carry it with you. Um, we also like the touchscreen interface. So those, those things sort of were key to us to do this. And tell us about how it fits into the overall Viva Pinata picture. I mean, you guys were involved with something else before the DS game came about. Were, were you interested in doing a version for the DS when the Xbox One was being developed? How did that come about? Um, personally, I played VP1 and I absolutely loved it a bit and I got all the way to the very end mm -hmm. and I, I couldn't wait to have a go. Yeah, um, we weren't sure if we were 
you know, it was going to be possible. Cause, you know, FIFA mm. on the Xbox is a fantastic looking game. Mm. And, you know, we all sat around going, how the hell are we going to do that on the DS? And, and the team was split 50-50, I think. Uh, some people thought we could do it, some people thought we couldn't. Mm. So, but um, we started developing it and everything just seems to slot into place. Everything we thought would be a problem just worked the first <laughs> time and it kind of all just went really well. So We had a lot of arguments yeah. about trees and yeah. things, just <laughs> trying to get them in. There's a lot of technical work to get that in, in, into the hardware, but um, we think it looks really great. So. And it's, it's just viewed from a sort of top-down perspective. Is that, is that, was that a technical